Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for a what sold video. What did I sell? These are my bread and butter bolos, items that I sold for $35 or less. And we're just going to dig in and get started here. Now, what you're going to see with this first item is this is an item that I have had for a really long time. And I picked up a whole bunch of these. Um, I still have 12 left. I think maybe I've relisted it once or twice. I'm not sure, but I bought a bunch. Uh, let's see. They are like a legging or a tight, like a tights pants. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I sold one of these to a viewer. Queen of Hearts Charnel bought these. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your purchase. I sold these for $9.10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I picked this up at a garage sale and I paid $2 for it. But you're like, why did you pay $2 for a ceramic uh, Scentsy Warmer replacement top. Well, I didn't. I played $2 for a Scentsy Warmer. When I got home, I realized that the Scentsy Warmer had somebody's, a picture of somebody's dog. <laughs> so they had taken like an imprint. I don't know how you do it. And they put it on the Scentsy Warmer. And I'm like, and it had the dog's name. So if it was just a German Shepherd, I may get away with selling that but it had the dog's name. And I'm like, there is no way I'm going to sell this like this. So I was like, let's make some money back. Let's just sell the topper as a replacement. And I sold that for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. Years and years and years, probably 10 years. I'm not kidding. I bought multiples. It's a brawl. I probably had a buck or so in it. And I sold this for a best offer of $6 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a scratch and sniff sticker. Do you remember my big old sticker haul from the Goodwill Bins? If you haven't, go to the video that says Goodwill Bins, I will make thousands. Oh my goodness. I hit the jackpot at the Goodwill Bins. This is one sticker. One sticker. It's a piece of chocolate and this sold for $13 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $18 and 86 cents. This is a Cloud Island pink plush stuffed animal elephant security blanket. A great word to put in the title is lovey. Uh, if you don't know about these, I also have a category video that talks about them and will help you know what to look for. But I pick up any lovey I see because typically they're bread and butter, but some of them can go for big money. I sold this for $14.30. The buyer paid shipping. Pick this up at the Goodwill bin, so probably about a dollar in it. This is a vintage Beverly Hills 90210 hat. Now, let me know in the comments, did you watch 90210? I know I did. Oh, my goodness, that's so funny. What was the other one that was on at the same time? There was like 90210, and then there was something else, another TV series around the same time. I can't remember what it is right now, but I watched both of them around the same time frame. So funny. Um and it really wasn't that good. <laughs> anyway, I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. I thought it would have that nostalgia for somebody. Uh, it did take a while to sell. I thought it was going to be a bolo and sell a lot quicker. I sold it for $20, best offer, and the buyer paid shipping. Bob the Builder Vehicles, Blue Crane, and Muck Dump Dozer Truck. And I put no batteries, assume not working. Um, they take the small circle batteries and all of my small circle batteries. It seems like when I test something with them, they go dead and I can't use them again to test other things. So I had no circle batteries. So I, I just listed it as untested and they still sold for $19.50 plus shipping. This is a Kelly Toy Llama. I got this at the Goodwill Bins and I sold this for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. It's actually pretty big, um, but yeah, just a colorful llama by Kelly Toy. Then, oh, got that one twice. This is a Rawlings Cub Soft Ball Softy Baseball. This was part of a Goodwill Bins challenge. It might've been the Goodwill Bins Bingo Challenge. And... Uh, this actually did pretty good. So I had probably 50 cents in it and I sold it for $16.25 plus shipping, but it did take a little while to sell. 
Wild Republic Bald Eagle Stuffed Animal. I got this at the Goodwill Bins and I sold it for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Leap Frog Leap Pad Incredibles book game. So it's a game and it also has the book with it. I sold this for $9.74 and the buyer paid shipping. And this came uh, Facebook Marketplace. I, I don't remember picking this one up. So I... I'm not sure what I paid for it. So there's one lady that messaged me a long time ago and she said she had a whole bunch of stuff to come get it for one price. I didn't even know what it was. I did an unbagging on my channel. I'm wondering if maybe it was a part of that. I don't know. I don't get a whole lot on Facebook Marketplace. So the next one is this Limu Emu. It's a stuffed animal. Came from the Goodwill bins and I sold this for $16 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse Baby Boy Blue Twin Doll. So it's one of the twins. I don't know. It says boy, but I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I may have messed that up. But uh, anyway, looks like it could be probably either. But the little ruffles on the arm sleeves kind of look like it could be a little girl. I sold this for $16.25 and the buyer paid shipping. It is so cute either way. Uh, really good condition. A lot of these get really scuffed up. This one is in nice condition. I try to show all sides and angles because, you know, if somebody's a collector, they're going to want the item to be in good condition. So $23.71 all in for that. And that one came from a garage sale. And I probably had about a dollar in that one. This is vintage cachet. I don't know. C-A-C-H-E. Junction. That's the brand. Iron-on transfers Christmas. These took a while to sell. I'm not even sure where I got these, to be honest with you. I sold them for $22.75 and the buyer paid shipping. This is typing in 24 hours. This... Uh this was outside for free. I thought it looked cool, so I grabbed it, and I sold it for $16.25 plus shipping. But anyway, super, super cute uh, little typing instruction book. The next item are these Willow Tree figures, lot of two. I sold these for a best offer of $16. The buyer paid shipping, and I probably had a buck or so in each one, and I got those at a garage sale. This is a wooden train accessories, people's cars, vehicles, trees, streets, and street signs. <laughs> Sold this for $28. Whoa, wait. I'm so confused. It says I sold it for $28. So I don't, I must have sold it when it wasn't on sale. I don't know why it shows it's on sale right now. That's really weird. But anyway, I know I sold it for 28 because I wrote it down. And the buyer paid shipping. I got it at a garage sale for $5. So it must have been purchased when my sale wasn't on. And this was purchased by Pinky's Second Hand Store. And she is a viewer of the channel. And she purchases from me all the time. She is awesome. She also sent me a couple of uh, boxes to unbox. If you guys haven't seen those, one was full of jelly cat. It was so awesome. You got to go watch it. And the other one was full of vintage items that I love. So when I do my unboxings, I show you guys exactly what I got and how I listed it. So I keep it super educational for you. So go check out those two videos. Vitties. Check out those vitties. <laughs> check out those two videos and check out Pinky's secondhand store. Save her as a seller by clicking on the heart. You'll get notifications when she posts new items and if she has a sale. So um, she has a really fantastic store. Lots and lots of great, great items. So be sure to uh, give her a follow. I'll link her down below. So thank you so much for your purchase. I appreciate it greatly. The next item is this Bucilla Mary's Quilt Blocks Mary Inglebright, which Mary Inglebright, anything I find by her, I pick up. She's pretty collectible. I had two of these. Both of them have sold. This one sold for $24.80 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Vintage Vanity Fair Long Line Brazier and Larger Bra Extender. <laughs> That's So it goes on the back of a bra to make it bigger, like, you know, wider around, you know, so if, if your bra is too small, it'll make it fit. It's an adjuster. 
I just thought it was cool. I picked it up at a garage sale for 10 cents. It did take a long time to sell. I sold it for $7.43 and the buyer paid shipping. Vanity Fair is a great vintage line to pick up for um, lingerie especially, but this was Vanity Fair. So I don't know. I took a chance and it sold. So not huge, crazy money, but you know, it's a bra expense a bra extender. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you haven't seen my Bolo Buddies merch, let me show you. I have these, which I have in right now, sporting them, love them. I have the Halloween, which there's, I think, 14 of these left. That's it, guys. They're going fast. And I have the Thanksgiving. So these are available over on Whatnot in my Buy It Now. They are $5 each. So if you're looking for some affordable merch, definitely check these out. Um, Whatnot. If you're not on Whatnot, it's really easy. There's a link down below. You can use that to link that link to join. You're going to get $15 to shop. Um, so basically, if you've never been on Whatnot and you want some merch, you can get your earrings for free with that $15, right? So go down there, join Whatnot, and then come to a show. Come hang out. Even if you don't want to buy on Whatnot, you can come hang out in the chat and type away and have fun with everybody. We have a really good time over there. It's like a live show, but I'm also selling, but I'm talking, and I think you guys would really like it. So I hope to see you at a future show. If you want to sell on Whatnot, there's also a link down below for that. But I did do two videos for those of you that are selling or want to sell on whatnot. If you want to kind of learn what it's all about, I know it's pretty intimidating starting a new platform. So I have one that shows you how to sell on whatnot and the other is how to ship on whatnot. So if you want to get more information on those, definitely check out those videos. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.